All right, action. We're going? Okay. Cut. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, yeah, go. It's going. What's going on, Airsofters? I bet you didn't think you'd see another unboxing so soon. But, you know, I've been using the Hop-Up app, and I've been getting some of the things that were on my list, and we're going to open this one up right away. So this, if you're used to my unboxings, you've noticed I've gotten a lot of pistols recently, and we're going to switch it up a little bit because I have just pistols and rifles. This will be the first of the kind on my channel that I've bought, in, and there's a bunch of like accessories already in way. So if you know what these are, you probably already know what it is just by that. And look how many there are. Three, four, five, six of them bitches. <laughs> and then we got two of these. These are obviously suppressors, mock suppressors. And they're about the same size. One is plastic, and then this one, of course, is a high quality full metal. And so if you know what that is, then you obviously know what this is. Right, look at this. Nice and bubble wrap this time. Ah, would you look at that? HNK MP5 SD6. This is the Tokyo Marui version because of course I love me some Tokyo Marui. And so I have extended my Tokyo Marui collection with now an MP5 SD edition. It's got the little charging handle, you can slap that down. And of course I've been looking for uh, the gas blowback Marusian but I like this version because the Splinter Cell Conviction has this exact gun with this kind of stock and this suppressor. And that's quick to attach. So now the gun is complete. It's a nice little SMG. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I mostly have pistols, assault rifles. So this is really uh, my first submachine gun. So I like how it's integrally suppressed. It goes with the Splinter Cell theme. The guy, of course, included a bunch of magazines with it. And the funny part is some dude at Firetown gave me like four free mp5 mags so that's four plus the the six right here and so we're gonna have tons of magazines tons of ammo on the field and this is of course an AEG from my favorite airsoft company from japan tokyo marui you can see right here on the trademarks made in japan tokyo marui and what's cool about this gun is that um it already comes with the accessory rail on the top so i could put my eotech or a little red dot on there and uh, yeah, it's an AEG. Um, so far it feels really solid. Usually I, I expect Tokyo Marui's to be like, you know, they're full plastic and all that. So I expect them to be a little creaky, but this is actually a really solid gun by the feel of it. And of course, I don't know if they come with a plastic suppressor or not, because this is really light and, you know, plastic of course, but the metal one adds a bit more weight. And it's just, you know, so far, I'm already digging it. It's already a pretty good feeling gun. Of course it's got the metal retracting stock right here so you can put it in for storage or sling it on your back it takes little stick mags that's plastic Let's see is there a metal one uh these two actually no i think only this one is metal but the four free ones that i got from fighter town are metal so no shortage of mags there and uh yeah what can i say about it first submachine gun and uh i'm already ready to shoot it's pretty simple by the looks of it HK MP5 SD. Got some little trademarks right there. Got an adjustable sight. I usually prefer the, the biggest option. You got some rear sling mounts, forward one which I won't use. Little trademark right there. 9 by 19, so no lame 6 millimeter. Looks like it takes apart like the real thing. And uh, you got some trades on the bottom. It's uh, decently heavy. I'd say it's about maybe six pounds or five and a half pounds metal trigger metal uh, magazine release options this is metal I've seen one that was broken on one that I was about to buy um, so this gun I actually got for um, hundred and thirty five dollars which is a good deal because I've seen them sell for like one dude wanted 280 for it or yeah this was about 280 so I guess that just fell off in the packaging but it's a tight fit so it probably won't fall off again and uh, yeah, Tokyo Marui is known to be really accurate. You also have a little magazine release button here if you want to do it differently, but nobody ever does that on an HK gun. And my finger's long enough to reach it with my trigger finger. And yeah, let's see how it shoots because that is the point of these really accurate, really reliable Japanese guns. 
Um, so you're not supposed to use a lipo in Japanese guns, but that is what I have today. Got the uh, 7.4 volt lipo, and we're gonna be shooting with, I believe, 0.28s, and we're about to test it out. All right, so we got these three, actually four, high cap magazines that I got from free from Fighter Town. So if you're that one guy and you're watching this video, thanks for that. Um, so because we got those four magazines from Fighter Town, you can see we have a really big collection of MP5 mags now. But for this video, I'll be using one of those Fighter Town mags, and it is a mid cap mag. And as you can also see, we have the, the uh, replica EOTech equipped on the rail, which makes this gun look even better. Which is cool because if I had bought this from someone else, I would have had to buy the rail separately. So, package deal. Like I say, this is why I like to buy used guns, because you already know they work. And sometimes you get some extra goodies, obviously, you get extra stuff. So, finally gonna shoot the gun. Let's take it out. Okay, so major failure. Um, that suppressor was just making the BBs explode inside the suppressor, which is extremely bad because if the shrapnel goes into the gearbox, it could break the piston. So we have the plastic suppressor, which obviously works. So now we're gonna shoot the gun. Really good trigger response so far since I am using a lipo. Really good trigger response and the gun does vibrate a little bit in your hands, which is cool. It obviously looks amazing and this is going to be great for close quarters. It's got really low FPS, like 200 and I think it's 230, so pretty low. And when I played a Dreadnought the other day, my Honey Badger wasn't in the chrono range. It was like 350 or something. And this gun is really low FPS, so this will be my CQB gun. I'm loving it so far. Uh, I have no complaints other than that the metal suppressor um, was just making the BBs explode. I do have, I am not using the battery that I showed earlier. It's actually a, I think it's an 11.1 volt, which is a little thicker. And yeah, it's a thicker battery, but it still fits in this plastic handguard, which you have to slide off and take apart to get to work. Okay, I don't think the EOTech is exactly accurate. Okay. Well, that has my unboxing of the MP5. We're gonna get a little more footage later, because of course the sun is going down, but uh, yeah, that was the basics of it. You're gonna see some gameplay with this next time I play. And if you haven't seen my last unboxing with the Combat Master, definitely recommend you check that out. But that has been the Tokyo Marui MP5 SD6. Nice and lightweight. It's built really good. So far, I'm loving it already. Um, I've never had a submachine gun. And when it comes to submachine guns, something about the MP5 is just a universal favorite. And it's really comfortable too. Yeah, the EOTech is a little off. Maybe I'm, I need to adjust the pop-up. Pop-up is this little switch right here. So maybe I should just mess with it. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And you should subscribe and like for gameplay on this and more unboxings. Thanks for watching. Alright, we're back. We got a little more sunlight, so we're gonna test out range in my friend's backyard. So let's check out. It's so close every time. I don't know why some of these babies are dropping like this. So close. Got it. Take all that. Tiny 
Can you actually see the babies getting down there? Yeah. Do full auto or like do you know I mean first? It's very accurate. It's not hitting with the red dots hat, but there's not really much I can do about that. Nice. Dang, it's got, I'll have to aim low. You ready? Yeah. Time to die. Oh shit. <laughs> gotcha. That didn't hurt. Want we do it again then? Yeah. Oh. It's hard to see, like, without my glasses. Is uh, that, that it? Hurts. Yeah, it hurts. It's supposed to be like 230, 280 FPS. Alright, do it again. Alright. Nah, it's just hitting my shirt. Do it again. Headshot. Just kidding. Do it again. Let me go semi auto, do like three rounds or something. Yeah, go ahead. Alright. Time to die. <laughs> I'm in my pants, it's not hurting. Alright. Aim for my back. Alright. Oh, we got red ass! <laughs> oh, we got red ass! <laughs> <laughs> that was the three brown bursts I was talking about.